Um, my question was, um, by far, what was your favorite season to record ever? The Supernatural. Uh, mine's on. I gotta go with four or five. Smart move, Jared. Smart move. <laughs> the season I met my wonderful wife. Catch. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, I, you know, I actually, I too liked four quite a bit. I thought there were some really Why? strong Why? episodes. <laughs> because you met somebody who wrangled you in. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, I'm going to do something totally impromptu. Um, I'm going to look to my left and ask what my partner's favorite part was, or first thing to come to mind of each season one through 10. Season one, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Bugs. Car accident. Season two, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? I don't remember season two. I don't two. have any idea. <laughs> season three. Just first thing that comes to your mind. Hurry, 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 hurry. <laughs> Hanging by the hooks at the very end. Oh yeah, I was gonna say writer strikes so or mystery spot. Oh yeah, season four, season four, the end. Jen, uh, the outtake when I couldn't say that line and I was like, "Did you murder?" That's happened in every season. <laughs> Usually, once a show. It's true. That's true. Maybe weekly. I think the upshot of that conversation is, are we sure season two happened? <laughs> if you can, I think we skipped two and went right into three. <laughs> Oh, wait, I remember two. <laughs> Women. <laughs> Ruby and Bella. No. There's three. The original? Yes. <laughs> Again, did season two happen? <laughs> I was going to say, somebody said Gabe Tigerman, and that was awesome. Uh, Bad Day at Black Rock. Was that two? There's three? Did season two happen? Oh, no, Oh, no, Bricks Loose. Sidekicks. That's what it is. Show you getting stabbed in the back by Aldous. Yes. And had the scene building, with you. Building the apocalypse on stage. You group. dead on the bed in the scene where I had to say, I'm sorry. Up. Like Dean had to yeah, say, yeah. sorry, and you had to hold your breath. And I took as long as I could because I wanted to see if I could get you to pass out. <laughs> I, I always knew you were milking it. Yep. Oh, yeah, buddy. I told, I told Kim Manners, I'm like, listen, just let it roll. Let it roll, because it is 3 o'clock, time for milking. <laughs> if I had a nickel. Just lost Kmart on that one. Uh, one that comes to mind, and I'm going to say it for you, is watching him fall in love with his wife. Because it was a pathetic. I mean, poor Jen, she just, you know, poor Jen, all of a sudden she just like had this tail. It was like following her around and I knew that as soon as I looked over and Jen sitting in her, her cash chair, she, you know, she was trying to keep to herself, she reading the book. And then I'm not kidding, this is Jared. Be your wife. Can I have some romantic music, fellas? <laughs> this is a book. <laughs> what you read? A book. Leave me alone. So, I read books, 
sure, sure. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> I do, I do, I read, I read. Okay, okay, I'll go on a date with you. Oh, okay. Good, okay, thank you. <laughs> I, I was playing a much taller version of my wife. I mean, I can tell you that there were moments uh, during the show where I was, um, uh, you know, where Jared really, like, his, his performance really impressed me. I, I, that I was jealous. I was like, man, that was, he just stole the show. Um, I would say the, in, in the episode, The End, when he plays Lucifer in the white suit, I thought that was one of his best scenes ever. And I, I remember being in the scene, and I thought I did a pretty good job in that scene too, and then I, I watched the final, the, 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 I watched the, the show, and I'm like, so... <laughs> But you know that's that, I, I I'd give it up to him. I was like, hey buddy, that's you nailed it. You you completely outshined me in that scene. So you know, and but he's you know he was very gracious. Hi, um, my name is Savannah, and my question. Your name is what? What? <laughs> no, I said what. You can't say what's my what. I said what first. What? Your name is what? You sure you don't want the smart one? <laughs> we should the whole Georgia thing and the Savannah and we, we do the Let it go. One, one, one. <laughs> Let it go. I'm, I'm leading them and then we all stop on a landing and have a conversation. And the guys are lining up the shot and they go, okay, Jared, it's perfect right there. Jensen, it's great, you look good. All right, uh, Rich, get the shot. And I say, hey, with the shot. <laughs> and go to my mark. And they go, where are you? And I'm like, we're there. And I'm like, okay, let's get a, we can't see you, dude. Um, let's get a box for Richard. So I'm like, a box like, all right, we good? Okay, that's it. Let's get a box for Richard. Then actually, listen, man, like, what? What? What are we, what are we doing wrong? Like, I, I still can't see you. Then we're in like four boxes. <laughs> It's like the way you help a little kid tinkle in the toilet, you know, you go, you're like, almost, no. <laughs> Very emasculating. And the funny thing is, because I, you know, it's not my first rodeo, I've done a lot of TV shows, and the guys aren't that tall. I mean, the most actors I work with are, my height are taller, but not by, you know, they're not that tall. And so these guys are, are huge, and I, I, I had to make a comment, I'm like, Holy crap, you guys are really tall. I mean, you're tall. And Jensen's like, yeah, I'm six one, and they call me the short one. <laughs> so it's because everybody, especially until you meet people on TV, there's the brain kind of assumes they are a certain height. So you before you ever met Jared Jensen or saw them photographed next to something that would give you a, a sense of how tall they are, you see Jared and you think, oh, he's Five ten. So then you see this, and you go, "Oh, he's my five. That's so cute. No, seriously, it's my first memory of Supernatural's Jensen's mouth. I, swear to God, I don't even say it to be funny anymore. And then the second, the second memory was we shot the car lot thing, and then went for a table read afterwards. And then I was sitting in there with Amy. We just met. We rode up on the plane together. And uh, here comes giant Jared walking in, I'm sitting down. And I'm like, oh my God, it's so exciting. We're a husband and wife, da 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 da. And literally, Jared towers over me. And he's like, hey, I'm Jared Padalecki. <laughs> and I really, at that point, felt like I was in over my head. I gotta, I gotta be honest, when you did that miming, do that again? It did not look like you were shaking his hand. Like I said, Rich, I was trying to gather myself and pull myself together. Why, hello, Jared. I was like, hey, Jared. I'm Magic Cole. <laughs> so that was the preparation, was trying to 
to keep myself together and not lose my damn mind because I was on a show with these super famous dudes that were so handsome in real life. I was like, oh, look, look, look how pretty they make them look on TV. Holy shit, that's real. <laughs> those two. I'm apparently, I made, we, we're supposed to have made those, those. I don't know where he got that mouth from. Boy, oh boy. The Jensen just kept looking at me. <laughs> mouth, it's like his lips have a built-in moisturizer. You know, they're, always, they're always shiny. It's never, don't even dream of seeing a cracked lip on Jensen's face. <laughs> never gonna happen. Anyways, are about, you okay? About Jensen. <laughs> I'm, I'm worried about you. Enough about Jensen's mouth. What'd you think about Jensen's mouth? I mean, I feel better about my answer now. Yeah, right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, baby. Hey, get, gather around. It's about to some stories. Gather around. <laughs> so on the way back from set, <laughs> I had wrapped. Late, it was probably yeah, maybe eight or nine o'clock. Sun was down, it was night. Uh, I, I needed a charger for my phone because I'd lost mine. So, on the way home from set, uh, I swung by a little electronic store out in Burnaby, I think, somewhere, somewhere not close to town. And just this little tiny, like even smaller than a radio shack. Uh, and I called ahead, I'm like, hey, do you guys have a, a charger? They're like, yeah, 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 come on in. Like, all right, so I open up, opened up the little store door. It was in, like, a, sh a strip mall, and there's a, a desk, and it's just kind of an old electronic store. They got old monitors and stuff like that, and, and there's one person behind the counter, and I walk up, and I'm like, hey, and the person just stares at me, like, blankly. <laughs> and I'm like, I called just a second ago about the phone charger, and she's just like, oh, my God. <laughs> and I go, <laughs> what? And she goes, turn around and I turned around and sitting on some some computer boxes was a uh, a big giant piece of cardboard probably like maybe like four feet by four feet with a perfect rendition of my face made out of skittles He has a picture. You have a picture with it. Oh, I took a picture of it, yeah. I, I, you send it to me? I, I will find it. I will find it. That's it's... like the beginning of a horror movie. <laughs> no, so, but I, I just want to know, know what I look like when I turn back it around to her. It puts the skittles her. in the basket. <laughs> right? So, slowly I turned. <laughs> it... He just backed out. He's like, I don't need a charger anymore. I... Did the words, I'm your number one fan, come out anyway? Well, no, this was, the, this was the crazy thing, is that it She's was... Like, I don't even like you. It wasn't, this her, it, it wasn't her that did it. It was her co-worker who happened to be off that night. Oh! Did you go back? So, no, so she got her on the phone immediately, and I was like, hi, how you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm staring at a very odd picture of myself. And then it was just like screams on the other end of the phone. <laughs> And then but, you ate but, your but own But this nose. was all because... <laughs> and then I ate me. This was all because this person was participating in Misha's scavenger hunt. And I guess at work decided to make a portrait of me out of Skittles. And it, I mean, it was... You did. You got the dimensions right. It was four by four. That was stipulated. <laughs> I just got a picture of it? Is that it? Oh, yeah. That's brilliant. Don't correct me. It's in, it's in Imagine <laughs> at night by yourself... Walking into a very dark store, it's terrifying, and like one lone person, it's terrifying, and it's just like it's turn around. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't. What? I'm. Uh, I'm gonna send this to myself. Isn't that amazing? And then um, freaked me right. By out. the way, I'm gonna. See? I'm gonna caption it because you look like you, but you also look a little bit yeah. like the David Bowie kind of Ziggy Stardust era. Like your lips are very look, red. Look, girl, I'm doing the blue steel. <laughs> Look, girl, I'm doing the blue steel. You know how we do. You know how we do. I do have to say that that day, that 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 um, wonderful, that, that horrible day, um, it it got, it was so infected. He, he was, he was such a whipping post that it, it, it got so fun that everybody started to join in. So much so that our B camera operator Brian Rose had the camera on his shoulder was filming Misha, I was standing directly next to him, and Brian, in the middle of the take, just decided to just take his shorts off. <laughs> oh, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> that's what, that's the environment that I'm living in. That's right. 
and he's just like, you too? Really? And Brian's like... <laughs> that was the day that people drove over from the production offices to watch. Oh, that's right, yeah. They were like, oh, it's... It's, it's on, it's, guys. It's Kill Misha Day. Game on. And, it, and that's, that's when I was like, okay, this may have... This yep. may have and you know what my control. favorite part of that day was when we turned around and the camera was on you guys. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these guys. I'm gonna get them. So I made a paper airplane and I threw it and it just went like straight into the floor. Right through. So I don't know. I don't know what's better: the fact that that you thought I'm gonna get them. I'm going to make a paper airplane and throw it at them. Or the fact that that amazing plan of just sweet revenge went like this. I mean, you really, you really knocked it out of the park with that one. I really did. Woo. Um, Cass has lots of character traits that I don't like. I don't like his voice. I don't like his posture. I don't like... He, he, he hunches over. And I, part of it, I feel like, is my fault. <laughs> That is my fault. I gotta be honest, there's, there's a part of Cass that I don't like either. Yeah. And that's that's that he um, I don't agree. He, he doesn't look at me when I talk to him. <laughs> uh, he, he literally looks away at the most inopportune times. Yeah. We're in the middle of a scene and he's just... <laughs> but when it's his turn to talk... Yeah, you know, I don't know where he gets that. Where did that, where did that come from? I don't know where he gets that. Because... You, you, so you, I mean, now that you mention it, I totally get the but talk. Serious, this... <laughs> yeah, that's uh, really annoying. <laughs> um, it is interesting because as actors, we make choices for the character early on in the uh, in, in the process, and there there are some things that we do. Uh, that we don't necessarily, that we're not really aware that we're going to be married to forever. And the, uh, and the term choices is a strong word as well. It is. Sometimes it's just like something happens. Eh, something happens. It, here's, a, here's an example for Dean. In season one, uh, there were, uh, we went to talk to somebody about something like Sam and Dean do uh, to get information about a case. And there happened to be, um, some uh, uh, hors d'oeuvres on the table that this person decided to leave there. It wasn't written in the script. It was a director thing. He's like, you know, maybe we'll put some like, you know, crackers and cocktail sausages and, and things out on the table. Well, I just was like, hey. <laughs> As a joke, you know, because hey, there's, we have a saying on the set of Supernatural that there's no joke too cheap. Uh, and and I, I decided that that was a little, gonna be a funny thing. Then Dean proceeded to be written as this glutton of fast food and junk food for the next eight seasons. And it literally was off of those little sausages that I, I just, randomly wasn't even I'm not even sure they were supposed to be eaten. <laughs> I checked with my props department afterwards and I'm like, listen, were those even good? Because they didn't taste good. And uh, and Robin, uh, bless her heart, was like, yeah, they weren't meant to be eaten. She's like, it's okay, they were fresh, but they weren't meant to be eaten. I'm like, well, I'm sorry. Do you have another bag? Because I've just... And a doctor. And a doctor, because... <laughs> I'm now gonna need. So anyway, yes, there are. It's interesting that there because we, we make we make kind of decisions or choices, even spur of the moment, things happen within a scene or within an episode that uh, that then they continue to write for. And that's that's part of the process of a character within a television series is the actor does things and the writers watch this and then they start writing towards what the actor is doing and they start. It's so it's a collaboration as the character develops. So I'm sure that there are things that Misha is like, man, why did I do the voice thing? 
and they're th and me as well. You know, why did I decide to do the voice thing? Because that's I don't I don't or I, the, I don't talk like this all the time. <laughs> or the Neanderthal thing that you do. Or the Neanderthal thing that I do. Yeah, that's actually I like that. That's kind of yeah. that is actually. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. We're here to uh, endorse a new product, actually. It's called Network Television Scarring Cream. It erases everything. Um, if the boys had scars, we would look like Misha. <laughs> we, we, look, we look better. 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 Um, and, uh, and sometimes, if, if that doesn't work, and say you happen to scar your face in real life, then what do you mean, Jensen? I'm just hypothetical. Hypothetic I can't speak. I'm nervous. Um, then we have an entire visual effects department that can just make you look like it never happened. Tell the story. I'm not going to tell the story. Tell the story. People have heard the story. Tell the story. I split my face open and they fixed it. What do you yeah. want? To How did I split my yeah. face open? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. <laughs> yeah, hey, look, Harrison Ford's got a scar on his chin too, all right? Yeah, but he's Harrison Ford. <laughs> so here's a true here's a true story. When the incident that shall not be named happened, uh, let's name it Volgascar. <laughs> He actually had to act with... You like that? You're not supposed to say Voldemort, so you're not supposed to say Voldemort. Harry Potter. I almost scarred my face as well. Yeah. Uh, he, came, he came to set with dots painted so that the visual effects people could uh, make his face look like the rest of his face, all smooth like a baby's butt. There's, there's an ironic point to the story, or part of the story, I should say. So, um, I, I went out with a, uh, with a, a friend of ours, mutual friend of ours, that we used to work Don't bring with. me into this. Don't bring me into this. Um, I went out with a friend of mine, who used to work on the show. And he had since gone on and was working on other shows and doing other things. Um, and he and I went out and had a couple, had a couple drinks and went back to his place and and had a couple had more, a couple more. <laughs> and then I was like, all right, I need to go home. So I went downstairs, he lived in a uh, high rise in downtown Vancouver, and uh, as I was waiting for my taxi to show up, there was a little uh, ledge where there was like a planter, and it had just freshly rained, and not thinking, I was like, well, I'm just wasting time, I'll just hop up on the planter. And... <laughs> You know what you do when you're just kind of wasting time and you're just like, you know, kind of strolling along and, oh, you know, whoop. <laughs> so I decided it was a little higher than I anticipated. And I jumped and went, <laughs> Oh, it was a good one. And, uh, and I just hit and I went, you gotta be kidding me. And it was just leaking, just like a, it was like a faucet of blood got turned on. So I'm like holding my chin back up, and I'm like, all right, <laughs> now what do I do? <laughs> I'm not kidding, that's, that, uh, that's... Well, you were working with, uh, the, the, it was a Saturday night, or you were working in two days, essentially. I was working, I had the next day off, yeah. and then I was working the, the, the day after that. So I'm, I'm just holding my chin together, and I'm like, all right, well, I don't think it's broken. <laughs> there was a lot of blood. I don't think I can walk to the hospital from here. I'm pretty sure the cab driver's not gonna let me into his cab. I mean, it's just all over. So, I called up the ambulance and they came and picked me up and I, I was like apologizing. I'm like, guys, I'm sorry. This is so, <laughs> so, so anyway, the, the ironic point of the story is I get to set and the visual effects department now has to put tracking marks on my face so that they can remove the pooling of blood that is now, and the swelling. That oh, it's all swollen, yeah. I mean, I look like Jay Leno. And, <laughs> and it, it was a nice, it was a nice change. Yeah, yeah it was really, def had a really nice defined chin. Um, so, but the, the ironic part about it was the person that had taken me out was the previous head of the visual effects department. <laughs> he planned it all along. 
<laughs> Give them the new visuals at home going, <laughs> suck it, boys. And uh, so, yeah, they ended up having to, uh, to fix uh, what was done. And, uh, but anyway, if the network cream doesn't work to take off the scars, we always have the visual effects department. Um, fuck, Mary kill the cast of Supernatural. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. I have to go to church after this. Now, I wasn't before, but I'm going to after this question. As a matter of fact, I do not. I'd marry Jensen. I'd kill Misha. And I think we know where that leaves us. Hope you guys, I'm gonna take a quick shower, sorry.